Hey guys, Bebo here, and I haven't done a daily vlog in a really long time because the internet made me mad. But anyway, here I am, and here we are, ready to do a daily vlog. Okay, so what has happened in the last couple of days and week and so on and so forth? All right, so I'm working on this awesome article, kind of, series of articles, an entire blog actually dedicated to small box games um, and stocking stuffers, and I am doing this because I think that small box games are getting way better. And I've solidly been enjoying like these little 10, 20, 30 minute games and I'm falling in love with them. And so what the, the purpose of the blog is, is it's just called small box games and it's on theboarddames.com, www.theboarddames.com. And essentially it's just there to recommend games that are really good small box games. And these don't necessarily have to be stocking stuffers for the holidays, but they are good for that. But mostly I want you to try this whole year and bring one of these small box games to everybody's house that you go to. I think that we'll get a lot more people involved in the hobby if everybody makes a habit of, say, rather than bringing soda, bring somebody a quick 20 minute game that you can teach them and then they can learn and grow from that game and share it with other people. And I think that we could grow our hobby this way. So. That is the objective of the small box game blog. And in addition to that, I'm gonna to try to include as many publishers as I, as I can. Unfortunately, you guys know that I do work for uh, GTS Distribution. And so I am going to be somewhat limited by the game selection um, by like publishers that we work with. However, I'm gonna have guest bloggers and they can actually write about any small box game that they want to. So yay, everybody wins. Um, and on this, on this blog, there's going to be essentially, here's a little bit about how to play the game. Here's why we bought it. Here is when it's available. And here's a big box game by the same publisher or the same designer or something like just a, another recommendation of something not quite as, as small. Sorry, I have hiccups. And I think it's going to be pretty neat. Um, I believe that Kyle is going to be on there, um, and Stephanie and my buddy Jacob that I game with all the time, and I'm sure you guys see his little jokes on Twitter because he doesn't have a Twitter account, but I tweet for him because he's mean to me all the time. Not for pity, but just because it, it's really amusing. He's very witty. Um, and then I guess other than that, um... I am working on two videos that I am struggling to edit because I'm very bad at editing and I'm also very bad at recording video without cue cards and I don't have anybody else around to hold things up for me so I'm gonna wait until Saturday when I do have someone but I am working on an Imperial Settlers what's new in Atlanteans video and in addition to that I'm going to be working on my Mashi Core deluxe unboxing video and I have all the differences laid out and everything planned and I did a first shoot and I just, I tried to watch myself and it was horrendous. So you guys get a redo. However, all of the product shots for both of these are completely done. So that's cool. Yeah. And I've just been um playing some guitar and playing a lot of board games. Um, actually, let me show you guys some of the small box games that I have been looking at. Um, unfortunately, GTS does not carry Mayfair, but I've been playing a bit of Patchwork, which isn't really a small box game, but it's sitting right here, so let's talk about it. And Open Sesame. It's an Antoine Bowser game, and as everybody knows, he's one of my favorite designers. He's fantastic. Uh, we tried Welcome to the Dungeon for the first time, which I'm totally pumped about. Um, it, it was a lot of fun. I think that it needs to be played with three or four players. It was not as exciting as I wanted to be with two players, but I could see that as soon as we got a third player in there that it was a solid and awesome game, and I cannot wait to play more of it. Um, let's see. I've got News at 11, which isn't going to be out before Christmas, so I'm not sure that I'm going to feature this, but we'll see because I'm really excited about it. We have Harbor, which I've recently fallen in love with. It feels like Lahav Light, but very different. I like the way that the market fluctuates, um, and I think that there's more predictability in it than than some people give it credit for. Um, I have a lot of fun outwitting people in this. <laughs> Foiling your plans. Um, let's see. We've also got 
So I had to put this in a different box. We've got Deck Building the Deck Building Game, which I'm currently completely and utterly obsessed with. I could play this game like six times a day and not get sick of it. I don't know. I love it. Maybe it's just because I've never lost. That's probably it. Um, what's in this box? Let's find out. Sushi Go, which I believe Nicole might be doing an article for Nicole Hoy from Daily Worker Placement. And Dead Man's Straw, which Sue taught me how to play, and then I downloaded the app, and I'm obsessed, and I can't get enough of it. This game is amazing. How did I not get on that train earlier? I don't know. I'm really ashamed of myself. And as you guys know, Tides of Time, I'm sort of obsessed with um, Draco Magi, the third Lost Legacy. And of course, Kiji, which I made in this gorgeous box. I guess I haven't talked about this on the blog, but I... I did make this pretty box that is supposed to match for Kiji because it doesn't come in its own in its own box. It just comes in a little wrap. But I'm obsessed with this game. And I heard that maybe Action Point or sorry, <laughs> Action Points is my other brand. Uh, Action Phase Games is going to be picking this up. Or they were. And then it turned into a completely different game. So you can look forward to that. Um, speaking of action phase, that's something I'm excited about. Um, their new ninja game. Oh my god, what is it called? Why can't I remember? Ninja Camp. Ninja Camp is incredible. And I cannot wait for it. And I'm excited for all of you guys to play it. Because it's really easy to learn, really easy to play, and just absolutely fantastic. Okay, well I'm running out of time and I'm sorry that I made this vlog so long. But I'll see you guys later. I'm going to go watch Star Trek. Good night, guys. I miss you.